Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have had a great day. Um, for me, it's probably going, you guys probably going to see these on Saturday. And you guys know I live Friday morning, early Friday morning. So by this time you guys are receiving this video, I am somewhere in Chicago enjoying my life. Um, being better for myself and my family. But, I do want to leave you guys out. So, I came up with this video. Because I know most of you guys are probably getting ready to put on Facebook a better me, a new me, a better me and all that stuff. Um, new me, new year. Um, but not me. Um, I don't have like goals per se. Um, but I do have goals that I want to stick with this motivational goals that'll help me to get to my actuality goal. Um, not necessarily saying that I can't get to my goals I want to get to now, but I feel like if I get to the goals that I want to now, um, I'm being stopped by my mental so I have to work on that before I can um, succeed in anything else. So basically I came up with 12 to 13 goals that I want to accomplish before the year 2020 is out. Not necessarily material goals, not necessarily um, subtracting the people out of my life goals, but these are goals that will help me to succeed into my material goals. Or to track the people out of my life. I just need to get my mental right. And that's basically why I am going. Or why I am in Chicago. Is to get my mental right. When you have your mental right. Everything else seems to fall in place. So with these 12, 13 goals. I set for myself for 2020. No longer than 2020. Because it only to me takes a year to get where you need to be um, mentally. Um, if it lasts longer than that, that's when, honestly, you need to seek help. But for my first one, I have not to be afraid to be alone. Don't fear being alone. Because back in the day, I used to be like, I need friends. I need to be in a relationship. I need to be around family. Now I see that this one is going to be kind of easy because I tend to steer away from people that I don't get along with. I tend to feel away trying to be around friends all the time. Um, I really rarely hang around family members all the time. Um, so yeah, this one's going to be easy. Um, so I feel like I should say the best to last, or in this case, the easiest to last. Um, also, I want to focus on not dwelling on the past. I do it a lot, and I must say, I do it a lot now than I did back in the day. To whereas, if you hurt me back in the day, then I just get over, move on, and we can go on where we need to be. But but lately now, if you hurt me, then it's all hell to you. Um. It won't be no more closeness if that makes sense. Um, and I also want to be have a mindset that the world don't owe me nothing. I always try to force people or feel like the world owes me everything. I've been hurt so much the world should offer me something. But in a hefty mindset, you have to keep that the world owes you nothing. And if you want something out of this world, then you have to go get it yourself. Don't think the world going to be at your front door, just knocking on your door saying, I have a present for you. Because it's not going to work. And then, um, four is, don't expect immediate results. If you do anything in return... For someone, don't expect for them to do anything for you. Um, 
Because sometimes immediate results are not necessarily the results that you need to make your life beneficial for you. Um, another way is don't worry about pleasing everyone. And I have been doing that lately. And I've been doing it since I was yay high to a grasshopper. Trying to make sure everyone else is good. Trying to make sure everyone else is happy. Trying to make sure everyone else is living their life to the fullest and don't have any problems. But now it's like, what about me? Who gonna make sure I'm good? So, um, I want to please myself. Um, not necessarily saying that I'm gonna turn my back on everybody else, but I'd rather please myself before I go out and please someone else, if that makes sense. Um, and I don't want to waste time feeling sorry for myself. A long time is great, but when I'm in my long time, I don't want to feel like I'm I'm going into depression because I'm feeling sorry for something I don't have, something I want, or some or somebody I need and want, but I can't get to them. I don't want to feel sorry for that. Sometimes you. Which goes on to my next one. Don't put so much energy energy in things that I can't control. Um, so if I can't control it, why even let it get to me? Um, it's out there. It's done. Can't take it back. So at this point, how do I move on? That's my main focus on that. Um, and also another big one. That really is probably going to be a little bit hard for me is don't let others that surround me influence my feelings at that moment or my emotions at that moment. If I feel sad, don't let it be because somebody else feels sad. Um, if somebody else having a bad day, doesn't mean I have to have a bad day. So um, that's basically what I mean by influence my emotions. Um... And don't re don't resent others on their success. If someone's having a great moment in their life or having something that's happening great for them, be happy for them. Don't don't say you're happy for them, but then want to throw stones on their happiness. Um, but I know when I feel like that, to always come back to my long time. Why are you feeling like this? Is it something I can control? If it can't, how do I move on from here? Um. Also, I don't want to shy away from my responsibilities, and I've been doing it a lot lately. Um, not necessarily shying away from them, but not necessarily handling them the way I should. Um. I'm a coming of age where I shouldn't have to hide behind my responsibilities. I shouldn't have to hide behind things I know need to be done, but I'm not getting them handled the way I used to or the way I know I can. So, um, I just have to be mindful of things like that when it comes to my responsibilities and being an adult. Even though sometimes being an adult is coming draining sometimes and you find yourself stressing a lot. But sometimes you just can't. Sometimes you got to go head on to where you have to handle your responsibilities like an outdoor. And I know I have to do that. And I only have one year to own up to that and do that the way I know how I know up. I know how I can do it. So, yeah. <clears throat> and then the other two kind of go together a little bit. Um, I just don't want to. When someone tells me no, or when I feel it's like something that's not that's not working out for me, I don't want to be the one that says, "Okay, that's it. I'm not gonna try again." That's me giving up. And 
I can say that I give up a lot on when people tell me no. I give up when I constantly hear, no, don't do that. No, this is not for you. Maybe another time. Or maybe this is not the time for you right now. Um, that's when I feel like I have to give up. Um, but I want to go with the mindset of always don't give up after the first failure. After somebody first tell you no, okay, go do something else. If they tell you no, okay, go do something else. If they still tell you no, okay, then maybe this is not my time to do what I need to do. But what else can I do until my time's calm? See what I'm saying? Okay, if you hear three no's from different people about the same subject, maybe it's not your time yet. So maybe you need to take a look of, look at that before you just keep going and thinking, this is right for me. They can keep telling me no, and I'm going to keep doing asking about the same thing or wanting to do the same thing. Or this is the job for me, and I'm going to keep going up there daily asking them, oh, you look at my application. Um, I got an interview. Okay, you got the interview, but then what? You go past the interview, but then they come in and tell you one day, I don't think I need you no more. Then you go find another job just like it, and they tell you the exact same thing. Maybe it's time for you to sit back and think about what can I do to improve my life? Why have I been giving the no's? I received a no. Now what I need to do next. Or what I need to do to improve myself. Um, and that's when you come in. Don't be afraid to take calculated risks. I'm not saying just go out there and jump off a building. And be done with it. But I'm, I'm, I'm saying. Take a risk that you can sit there. Thought about. And you're like okay forget it. I'm going to do it. Um, like for example, if you want to go bungee jumping, you're not just going to go and jump off the wall. You're going to get equipment ready. You're going to have 911 on standby. And then you're going to be ready to take that risk. That's what I'm, have a plan, then take the risk. Have a plan, then take the risk. That's basically what I mean. And when I'm done with all of these motivational goals, motivational my resets. I want to be myself regardless. And this is basically why I came and did this video was because whatever you want to do in life, whoever you end up uh, whoever you end up with in life, whoever whatever you want to do in life I always remember it all started with you being yourself first. And if you feel like you lost that mindset of being yourself, then it's time for you to find out ways where you can reset yourself, if that makes sense. And I came up with these 12 ways to reset my mindset of the ways I think. Um... And I also decided to go ahead and start back meditating and all of that good stuff like I used to. When, um, cause I feel like November the 1st of last year is when I let myself go. And I'm talking about November the 1st, 2018 is when I realized that I didn't give a care what people thought. I just, I just was reckless. I did reckless things. I had reckless thoughts. I was fully depressed. And one day I just sat down and came up with these. Every day I came up with one that I needed to fix. That I needed to get done. And then I thought to myself, this won't happen. So I put my list away and then I'm like, okay. What's next? I can't just sit in depression and wallow in depression and not fix it. So then, 
of December came of this year, 2019, and I brought back out that list and decided to keep writing, to keep motivating myself. And that's when I came up with these full lists of 12 things I need to do before 2020 is out. And by 2020, well, 2021, I should be fully focused and ready. But 2020, I'm going to be working my way up. 